Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. I'm your host, Thomas McNulty, and it may be January 2021, but hang on to your seat. Things are about to get scary. I'd like to bring to your attention today this fantastic graphic novel published by Legendary Comics, which is um, an adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Look at this artwork here. All right, so let's talk about this. This is uh, fascinating because it's the Bram Stoker story adapted with Bela Lugosi's likeness. And what happened here is they acquired the uh, permission from Bela Lugosi's estate to use his likeness in telling this version of Bram Stoker's famous novel. And by doing that, they've kind of changed the game here a bit. Um, the book is absolutely beautifully illustrated. And let's take a look at this. It is um, illustrated by El Gehring and Kerry Gamel, uh, who worked together on this, I understand, and it was adapted by Roger Ro Robert Napton, who I think is one of the head honchos at Legendary uh, Comics. Uh, and it's a black and white graphic novel, um, reimagining Bram Stoker's Dracula, using Bela Lugosi's image. All right, you saw the cover. Let me show you some of this beautiful artwork in here. Take a look at this. This is absolutely absolutely breathtaking artwork throughout and by using Bela Lugosi's likeness that kind of changes the game you know really um, it's beautifully illustrated by these men the script is really good by Robert Napton and by doing this I really believe that they have changed the game when it comes to horror comics now for those of you that follow this video series you know that I'm a fan of EC horror comics from the 1950s and I consider those the gold standard. Now, this changes that. By being able to use Lugosi's image, which is so iconic and, and, and so deeply connected to Bram Stoker's book, even though the book had a different description, it's really Lugosi that we think about when we think about Dracula. So they put out this new, this new adaptation. It's just absolutely incredible. This is a new wave, I think, they're starting here in horror comics. Legendary Comics has done this, and I think they've changed the game. I really do. I hope they I hope they agree with that. Look at this. Look at this front piece here. Look at this. This is just, look at this. It's just incredible. Um, I'll, I'll put a scan or two from the cover, on the cover and from the back cover uh, at the end of this. The, the story is very well written. And they've put together this deluxe, it's a deluxe hardcover. There probably will be a paperback later on. And the it has a beautiful dust jacket. It, you know, it says, it says Dracula there. Um, and I'm really impressed with this. I really love the creativity behind it. I love the fact that Bela Lugosi's estate has consented to the use of his image. And this is going to help create what I hope will be perhaps a new wave of interest in horror comics, which it, they're really, it's hard to find a, a, a good one these days. There's a lot of people out there trying to write and produce and draw good horror comics, but they fall short. This does not fall short. This not only is superb, uh, it takes a great work of literature, it reimagines it, it uses Bela Lugosi's image, and it's absolutely compelling in every way. You need to get this book. This is an instant collector's item. And I don't say that about a lot of comic books these days, or as we say now, they're graphic novels. Um, you need to get this. Uh, fantastic. Now, with that said, I've given them a really good unsolicited plug, all right? Um, I hope they see this, because... What could happen next? This is one volume. I would love to see a sequel to this. As the movies used to do, find a way to bring Dracula back, use Lugosi's likeness. Perhaps they could get the Karloff estate. And, you, know, you can see where this can go. And put out sequels in the manner of the classic universal horror films. And really put out a series of high-end deluxe graphic novels, uh, horror novels, which are not well done these days. And this one, again, this sets the, this sets the bar high. This puts it out there and it changes everything. Um, at least that's my opinion. You know, he may disagree. Uh, so I can't praise this enough. Legendary Comics with L. Gehring and Kerry Gamble and Robert Napton 
And who else was involved in this? Executive consultants, all right? Bela G. Lugosi, that's Bela Lugosi's son, and Lynn Lugosi Sparks. So the family is involved. Bless their hearts. I mean, what has been created here is just stunning. Um, you know, I, I can't I can't praise it enough. So please give give a give some thought to this beautiful collector's edition. It will spark your interest, perhaps, in reading the original novel, which is is a classic. And I think you're going to really enjoy this. All right, so there's my plug, unsolicited, but I I can't resist because you know, fun, really fun. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain. Read a book.